Christine Lin, I guess as you're going to recognize Christine's work in the slideshow and Ken's work and Suzanne's because they each sort of take a different avenue approach to design. Christine, you were raised in Delaware. You make your home here now. Uh, a student of both MIT and Berkeley, so get ready to answer the question, which is better, the East Coast or the West Coast? Yeah. Let's hear it. How long have you lived in San Francisco? Since uh, 2010 for Bay Area. I moved to Berkeley first. So okay. 12 years, and I'm a diehard like, transplant now. You're a diehard yes. transplant. It, tell me about the sort of scope of pra your scope of practice. So I'm a modernist. I came from an architecture background, so I studied all the great architects and all my favorites were, you know, the modernists, and a lot of them ended up in California. My interior design practice, I'm very much influenced by that. Being in California, there's a respect and like appreciation of uh, that style of architecture and design. The desire for something modern, especially with techies and people who populate the Bay Area, uh, I think it, 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 it fit really well with the type of work that I wanted to do. In, in school, you know, at MIT versus Berkeley, I mean, is there a bifurcation in who the modernist heroes are, whether they be the Mises and Corbus and yeah. sort of European imports to New York or the Neutras and Schindlers of, of California? Well, there's just very two different schools of thought and how they educate uh, to start with. So MIT was very much about conceptual work. Um, that's what we were trained on and how to problem solve. And it's about the cutting edge of design, right? And so you have a lot of, you know, people playing with like biomaterials to create architecture. And, you know, here in Berkeley, it's really about sustainability. It's closer to the earth. It's about the environment and you know, that, and it's about practice, like with the practical aspects. I learned nothing about building at MIT, yeah. which is ironic, you know, given it's MIT, you know. Well, that's technology. interesting. <laughs> I mean, that yeah. idea of being more connected to the earth yeah. is, you know, what I would think about as a kind of solidly northern California. Like, it's this fertile ground that your imagination is sort of not only allowed, but encouraged to run a bit wild and for me, it was that kind of place. I had moved to Boston out of college, and uh, uh, I don't think I was, Boston was perhaps too closed for me, and I don't think I was smart enough for New York or good looking enough for LA, and I you know, came to San Francisco and felt like I, I could be anything. I do, even growing up in Virginia, I sort of saw the world in a cinematic fashion, but, um, I, I do think that, that that is the defining thing, uh, the sort of great hope that California represents um, for so many people that, that continues. And I think it just shows in the, the design, it's sort of, it's not, this sounds awful, but it's not constipated. It's like, it's like uh, it breathes and it feels, you feel that hope and promise and optimism and design, I think, that is generated whether, it, you know, regardless of how it actually looks, it's how it feels. What, what, what do you feel is the rewarding part in working with your client? For me, it's always about, you know, bringing out the individual and the client. You know, that's why people come to us, where they see, like, different personalities in each project. I like to, like, get deep and understand what's the one thing that they really resonate with and bring that into the design and find that Venn diagram of, you know, client, architecture, and site, and then what we like. And that tiny little overlap, when I find that, that's like the most fulfilling thing um, because that's where like the magic happens when you hit all those different parts and are able to create something that, you know, no one really imagined. So having those constraints are really, you know, I think you can be more creative because of those constraints. We may not have the answers at our fingertips, the answer is always beautiful. It's going to be fabulous. Our jobs are to bring beauty. Our jobs are to create beauty. Our jobs are to, you know, put, put people within beauty. Uh, yeah. You all clearly have such a wonderful past, and I just want to know, 
What does the future look like from your perspectives? Can I think that's a small question. It's a broad one. Uh, no, I mean, I think the amazing thing that we all have witnessed through Russ's friend technology is um, how many people pay attention to design now. And, you know, it was a great sort of equalizer, how we share information, you know. For me, Instagram is just like butterflies and rainbows, it's happiness. I love seeing all of the inspirational work and things and keeping track of friends. But um, I think we build upon that. It's such a visual world and not everyone has the great privilege. It used to be that, you know, only the affluent people got to go on crazy trips and travel and do and now it's at our fingertips. You know, when I was a little kid, we still, you know, we had encyclopedias and, you know, you had to go and hunt these things down and was there something wonderful or nostalgic about that? But that now that we can share all of the beauty that makes up our lives, I, to me, I think that is only just beginning. I'm helping do, um, and we talk about these virtual worlds and it, freaks me out. I don't know that I completely understand it, but I'm helping to build some of them where, you know, we begin to express ourselves um, where it doesn't take brick and mortar to do it. And we're able to create uh, what look and appear almost like physical environments that represent your world that don't have to all, you know, you can take pieces of things and put it together. Uh, and I think that's exciting, like how thrilling that um, we can do that. Uh, I don't think it diminishes all of the tr traditional things that we do, but I certainly think it enhances them. And uh, I'm excited. I'm the guy that thinks only, you know, all of our best times are ahead. Can I be a downer? Yeah. <laughs> well, so I hope the metaverse never really pans out because it's kind of dystopic to me. <laughs> Um, right? We don't want to live in that world. We want to live in the real world. And so, like, for me, the future of design is sustainability. We're approaching a breaking point where we really have to think about these things and we're seeing it in our daily lives. Yeah, that's where I see it. On the less fun side, more practical. You know, I love the less fun side, you know, as a child. <laughs> as a, a child of, like, working class parents, you know, I, like, live with this guilt from having made my life. Hopefully, I see design following that widening chasm. And I always tell people, if you're looking for social justice, don't get a subscription to Architectural Digest. <laughs> and there always, you know, people who are like, wait a minute, you showed this? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's not Mother Jones. Um, but in our way, like building a kind of a better world, celebrating pro bono work and you know, and you, all of your work with the garden conservancies and, you know, Hearst Castle and places that bring so much joy to this wide, wide audience. Give us a happy or unhappy. Okay, no happy. I'm always optimistic. I'm That's always what I love. Like. Yeah. I'm going to hang out with you and Ken. always be just fine. I'm canceling and blocking Christine for, <laughs> okay, so for here, reality check here. helping out my... Here are my hopeful wishes that that Mayor will actually release his guilt and be okay with that and going <laughs> forward. Um, but no, my, my, I'm gonna say more hopeful, wishful aspect of the future of design is that it really keeps to be individual and that it doesn't become cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. And you know, not this mass marketed thing and that people own their individuality. They feel confident in that and that's what you design too.